our immune system is incredible at fighting off infections. And we think of the strength of our immune system as the ability to fight off the, the flu bug that year or to fight off the common cold. It only makes sense to take that same targeted immune system and exploit it to go after the cancer cells. The problem is the immune system doesn't see the cancer cells as foreign and simply just leaves them alone. I liken this to the, the police force in your body. So the, the immune system is the policeman that day and night are patrolling your body and looking for problems. And frequently infections get picked up and they get eradicated. The cancer cell, specifically in lung cancer, is almost like a lung cell in disguise. And I also think of this as, say, for example, the, the cancer cell has your ID badge, a driver's license. It says, I'm part of you. And when the policeman comes to interact and bump into the cancer cell, which happens all the time, the cancer cell shows the ID badge to the immune cell, which is the policeman, and the policeman just simply walks away. New drugs have been designed to affect that interaction between policeman, immune system, and cancer cell bad guy and essentially swipe that ID badge, that driver's license, away from the cancer cell. So when the immune system and the cancer cell interact, the immune system can see the cell for what it is, which is a disease cell that's gonna damage and hurt the body, and start the process of gathering them up and getting rid of those cells. We need to understand at a molecular level what is interacting, what's changing between the cancer cell and the immune cell. This interaction and the way cancer cells and the immune system interact is critical not just for lung cancer, but critical for all cancers. We move away from giving therapies that are designed to attack that one cancer cell with either a defined small poison or a targeted drug. And we're moving away from that and focusing more on telling the immune system, that's the problem, go get it. It's almost like flagging the cancer cell for your immune system and letting your natural defenses heal your body rather than giving a foreign drug into the body to try to attack the cells. Immune therapies are, as a whole, very well tolerated and in certain people, extremely effective. And the long-term benefits of the immune-based therapies are yet to be determined because they're so new. But I think that the world of immune-based therapies to treat lung cancer and cancer as a whole is extremely promising. I think right now we're at the tip of the iceberg. We've uh, unlocked a key interaction in how cancer cells and immune cells interact. And by affecting that interaction, teaches the immune cell to be smarter and see the cancer cell for what it is and get rid of them.